In the last few months, one of my Etsy shops generated over $11,000 in sales selling super basic digital downloads. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. In order for you to get these or even better results, you need to combine all the steps I go over in this video. Otherwise, you'll be stuck with Etsy listings that just never sell. Etsy is one of the best marketplaces to sell digital downloads because they make it super easy to upload digital files to your shop that just automatically gets sent to customers when they purchase them. So when done right, these digital files can earn you passive income over time because all you have to do is upload them once and they will continue to sell over and over again. Without further ado, the first step I took and that you will need to take is decide what you want to sell. Do you want to sell digital worksheets, editable templates, printable planners, printable wall art? For this example, let's say you want to sell printable planners. You're going to go ahead and type in the keyword that describes your product on Etsy. Here's where most people make a huge mistake. They jump into a super saturated market and then wonder why they're not making any sales. Printable Planner generates over 527,000 results. That's how many listings you would be competing against if you just created any type of printable planner. Competing in a super saturated market is like trying to get Taylor Swift's attention in a 100,000 seat stadium. It's really difficult to stand out. Now, the way I was able to make way more sales much quicker was by targeting a very specific type of product and target audience. So as you browse through some of the listings that are currently selling on Etsy, try to get more specific on what you want to sell. So for example, editable cleaning planner kind of stood out to me. The shop has a lot of sales and reviews and it's very specific. Printable ADHD planner. Through my research here, I noticed some pregnancy planners and pregnancy journals that are getting a lot of sales and reviews. So what I would do next is type in printable pregnancy planner and right there it lowers the competition to just over 2500 results which is already looking very promising so in this case instead of selling just typical daily and weekly planners that are very very competitive try targeting something way more specific like a pregnancy planner i took this a step further and used etsy keyword research tools like marmalade and sales samurai to find products that have higher search volume and lower competition i have free trial links for both tools that you can grab from the description box below if you want to do your own research. Through my research for this example, I noticed that pregnancy journal and cleaning schedule have very high search volume and low competition. So these are great keywords to move forward with. I'll reveal the digital downloads that I was selling in one of my Etsy shops later in this video after we've gone through the steps that I took to discover what I wanted to sell. Once you've narrowed it down to the type of products that you want to create, you'll want to get some design inspiration from Etsy and Pinterest. I've gone ahead and typed in printable pregnancy journal on Pinterest just to get ideas of what pages to include in the journal, what styles I gravitate towards. You can do the exact same thing on Etsy to get an idea of which products are getting the most sales, the most reviews, and to get ideas of fonts you like, graphics, colors, so that you can gather ideas and inspiration for when you go to create your unique designs. Next, you'll need to download fonts and graphics that you have a commercial license to if you're not creating your own from scratch. I personally use Creative Fabrica. That's what I used for my digital downloads to get graphics and fonts. They have many beautiful packages that you can use in your digital products. For this example, I've typed in Woodland Cute Animals Clip Art just to include some of this clip art into a pregnancy journal. And there's many options for me to download for me to use. I also noticed through my research that some pregnancy journals were comparing the size of the baby to a fruit every single week. So I just typed in a fruit clip art to get some ideas on which packages I could buy and use for my journal. You can use the link down below to sign up for free and get your first 10 downloads absolutely for free and cancel at any time. They do have an incredible yearly all access deal that you can subscribe to after your free trial, which states right here that it gives you access to all their classes and graphics and fonts with a commercial license. Okay, so far so good, but all the work we've just done would be a complete waste of time without the rest of the steps we're about to take. Next, you're going to want to create the product based on all the research you've done on low competition products and the design inspiration you've collected from Etsy and Pinterest. For this example, if you are creating a planner or journal or something like that, you can get some more ideas on what to include using ChatGPT. I'm just using the free version and I typed in what should I include in a printable pregnancy journal that 
that I want to sell. And it gave me so many great ideas that I can include in the pages to make this product amazing for my target audience. So for multi-page PDF files, I like to use Canva, but I always bring in my own graphics and fonts that I've downloaded from Creative Fabrica. Canva is just the software I use to put everything together. So here I've brought in my graphics and fonts into Canva to help me just put together this really cute pregnancy journal based on all the research I've already done, where I can now save it as a PDF file that I will upload into my shop. Here's another mistake a lot of people make. Imagine walking into an ice cream parlor and they only offered vanilla. You'd probably walk out the door unless they were advertising the best vanilla ice cream in the world. I hope that made sense, but my point is you need to give the customers that visit your shop many different options to choose from and potentially complementary products that they can also add to the product that they came initially for, which we'll get to later. Etsy is a numbers game. It is competitive. So the more products you can offer in your shop, the better. To save you time, you can literally create one really good product and then make some tweaks to it, like the fonts and graphics, save another PDF file, and then make that another listing. Like for this example, I could just change the rainbow and maybe the text colors, and then some of the graphics within the pages, save a PDF file, and then there's another listing created within a few minutes. I cannot tell you how important this next step is. The way you upload your digital product is going to be the deciding factor of whether or not your customer is going to purchase from your shop or jump to your competitors. When you upload your listing, the first thing you're going to do is put in a very descriptive title that includes relevant keywords to help you rank in Etsy search. This is where Etsy keyword research tools like Marmalade and Sales Samurai are going to be really valuable. For this example, I've already done my research to find these descriptive keywords that I've included now in my title. If you want a whole tutorial on Etsy keyword research, I will leave the link to the video down below in the description box. Now, customers rely heavily on the images they see to make their purchasing decisions. If the main image of your listing, which is basically the thumbnail of your listing, does not stand out, customers will just pass right by them and jump to your competitors. So make them good. You can get inspiration from other Etsy sellers just to see what types of images they include in their listings and go ahead and create images that help display your product in a way that stands out. So I've created a couple of images here in Canva just to show you a couple of examples. I would create a few more to show what pages the customer will get and how to download their digital product. So this is where you would add the photos in and then this is where you're going to drag and drop your file. So I'm just going to download the pregnancy journal right over here. I get this question a lot. How does this file actually send to the customer? Once you've uploaded here and published your listing, when someone purchases it, Etsy will send them an email with the link to download this file. So you don't have to worry about anything. Your description, it needs to be detailed and include relevant keywords within the description. You can get some inspiration on the descriptions that other Etsy sellers have included just to figure out what you should include in your description. And you can also go on to ChatGPT to get some ideas. So for this example, I typed in, write an Etsy product description for a printable pregnancy journal. This way you can craft the perfect description for your product. And then the last piece I really want to highlight here is your tags. Make sure to fill out all 13 tags and once again, make them relevant keywords. That's exactly what I did for all the listings in my shop. And that's what helped me rank in Etsy and make those sales quicker. Okay guys, imagine you're throwing a massive party that you've done so much prep work for, and then you forget to send out the invites. That's exactly what you're doing if you're not promoting your products. So many people make the mistake of listing all of these Etsy products online and then just waiting for Etsy to do all the work for them. It's your job now to promote your products and get the traffic started. Something many people don't realize is the more you promote and bring customers in, the more Etsy will notice your listings are getting traffic and they'll help you rank even better on their platform. So in this shop that I've been running, about 50% of traffic was coming from Etsy and the other 50% was coming from external sources, which in my case was only Pinterest, believe it or not. You'll notice that through your design inspiration and research on Pinterest, a lot of the pins are directed back to Etsy. That's because Pinterest is one of the best tools to use to market your products. So every day I was creating pins for my products that lead back to my Etsy listings. So for this example, I've created this pin for my weekly pregnancy journal. Pinterest likes vertical pins more, so you're more likely to get clicks. I have a whole video on how to use Pinterest for your Etsy shop. I will link that down below for you as well. So make sure you're creating multiple pins for every one of your products every single day that will direct people from your Pinterest account to your Etsy 
Etsy shop. So now all you have to do is rinse and repeat. Follow the exact same strategy we've gone over in this video to create more products for the same target customer. So for example, if I'm offering pregnancy journals, I can now offer some self-care printables, baby shower games, baby food trackers, and that sort of thing. If you're wondering what digital files I was selling in one of my shops, I focused on trackers, primarily mood and habit trackers, using the exact same process I shared here. It took me a while to get the hang of it all because there was a lot to learn. Just like any other business, you need to be patient with the results. While you devote hard work and time into building this shop that's going to generate passive income for you when set up correctly. Don't forget to sign up for Creative Fabrica to get your first 10 downloads absolutely for free using the link down below. Give this video a like if it was helpful and head over to this video next to learn how to promote your digital downloads on Etsy and I'll see you there.